Hello and welcome to People on the Move, a podcast brought to you by Cargomatic. I'm your host, Michelle Dawn Mooney, and today we are talking about talent acquisition in the supply chain. And I want to bring on a great guest that we have for this conversation today. Sam Ahmed is the principal recruiter for the talent acquisition team at Cargomatic. Sam, thank you so much for joining me today. Lovely to join you. Thank you so much, Michelle. Looking forward to this conversation. Before we jump in, can you give us a brief bio before we get started? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Sam Ahmed. I'm the principal recruiter here at Cargomatic and a recent addition to our exceptionally talented and diverse people team. My primary focus is leading talent acquisition for our technology function, software development, product, program management, and IT ops and security. Secondary focus for me is the build out and growth of our infrastructure team. This includes business ops, finance, and accounting divisions, to name but a few. Yeah, so that's a brief bio for you, but I want to dive a little deeper with a little more background on how you ended up where you are today working in the logistics industry. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So I think all of us uh, in talent acquisition don't really start off in this space uh, or ever think of making a beeline for this type of work. This is what makes our industry so full of people with diverse backgrounds, knowledge bases, and experiences that if they effectively tap into, can make them highly successful and rewarded in their specialist or generalist fields. I actually started my professional career in the scientific research sector. As a fresh-faced graduate biochemist, I spent the first three years working in clinical research. Um, Those years were eventful and rewarding for sure. However, However, the pace of work was slower than I expected. And I realized the limitations that existed for fresh learning and professional growth, especially through external engagement and interaction, learning from others. So when the time came to consider a new path, I chose sales and ultimately recruitment. I had the impression that being in a field where my primary focus would be on interpersonal engagement would not only suit my outgoing personality, but pose an exciting opportunity to be outwardly focused learn on a daily basis from others uh, about not only what they do, but about how they do it and and excel. And by luck or design, I happen to be correct. So I spent next 12 years in the agency recruitment space uh, across a diverse portfolio of clients in finance, information technology, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, engineering, manufacturing, and last but not least, supply chain and logistics also. When I made the jump into in-house talent acquisition circa, I would say, 2014 onwards, it was initially within the engineering, manufacturing, and supply chain and logistics spaces. Over the recent years, I've led talent acquisition for IDSEC and e-commerce businesses across North America also, returning now full cycle to join Cargomatic, and I'm excited to be part of our journey of growth and innovation in this industry. Let's face it, looking for a job is a terrible experience. We've all been through it. (laughs) There is so much exceptional talent out there, people who just need an opportunity to demonstrate the value they can bring to a company. Mm -hmm. Our job um, is to find and engage with that talent and to make their candidate journey an exceptional one, all the way to day one and then beyond with Cargomatic. Well, speaking of day one and day two and onward, because now you've been with Cargomatic for a while, what does your day-to-day look like with the company? Sure. So, Honestly, no two days are the same, but they always start off the same with a plan for the morning tasks and goals outlined the night before. It's the last thing I do at the end of every day. Uh, There are always on the spot requests and changes during the course of any day. And these are challenging, exciting problems to to resolve on the go. So an element of dynamism and creative solution play uh, an important part. Afternoons again come with a plan uh, formed by midday. And based on how productive or effective the morning period has proved to be, but generally the afternoons require more flexibility to accommodate last minute meetings, uh, interviews, and market mapping or resourcing efforts too. We focus heavily on headhunting and referral networks to find the best talent from market, i.e. being proactive with our approach as opposed to just reactive, advertising and waiting for the right applicant to come to us. This is a much more effective and efficient use of the limited time we have to get results for hiring teams across the business and has proven really successful uh, recently and and in the past as well. 
typically the day is bookended with a catch up with our senior director of talent acquisition and a longtime friend and industry colleague of mine, Chadwick Bowser. We discuss the wins from our respective days, upcoming priorities and goals, and any support that each needs from the other. Talking about enticing future talent, because clearly you are happy with what you're doing and you get to bring more people on board. So let me ask you this. What do you think people would be surprised to learn about with regard to working in the logistics industry? Good question. Cargomatic is making great strides to bring new solutions to old problems in this industry and is therefore a recognized leader at the forefront of innovation in supply chain and logistics. This is one of the last industries to be changed by any form of industrial and techn- technological revolution. We are just starting to scratch the surface on digitization as an industry, and Cargomatic may well be the first to make major changes with cyber physical uh, technology and AI. Both now and in the future, green logistics, elastic logistics, automation, and technologies such as cloud, blockchain, etc., alongside advanced data and analytics, will all play a major role for the advancement and opt- optimization of our industry. There are a wide uh, range of jobs available in this industry, tech, comms, marketing, etc., that all require a new way of thinking and operating in the digital world of this decade and beyond. At Cargomatic, we are confident of our value-add factor and significant contribution on this journey. So when it comes to recruiting new talent, I would think that it is not an easy task for both sides. So let's start off with your point of view. What are some methods that you find work best when it comes to targeting the right candidates? And then what are you looking for? What traits make someone a good fit for Cargomatic? Of course. So let me start off by using an analogy of sorts. Um, You can think of it this way. We're building a plane while it's already in the air. People we hire aren't just going to be pilots. They'll be engineers. They'll be technicians. They'll be the hosts and hostesses serving snacks to the passengers. They'll be every, everyone and everything in that chain of doers that will bring you the passenger, the industry, the experience you will have. With that said, not everyone is going to be a fit for our company. People who have only worked at giant companies that hire sort of five people to ensure one job gets done won't be a fit for our organization. Everybody here has to carry their load and add, uh, add value. We're looking for those individuals to strive to do more, to learn more, to advance and move forward, all with a reward, reward of recognition and progression at Cargomatic. Number two, well, we're fishing in a very large pond. So partnerships with resources such as LinkedIn, Indeed, Built-in, and other social media and uh, resources that allow us to go out into the world and find right people are very, very useful for us in recruitment. And we utilize them in every way possible to the best of our capabilities. Um, We employ technical and behavioral uh, personality traits assessments and only advance those that are in the top brackets um, in terms of their, their performance. Um, from a recruitment perspective, in terms of one-on-one engagement, engagement with candidates and screening, what do we look for? Well, when talking to candidates, as well as a standard checklist of skills, knowledge, and experience, uh, we use what we call the RAPID methodology for open-ended questions. So RAPID stands for results, effect, produce, improve, and deliver. If I take the last two of those, improve and deliver, an open example of open-ended questions for those two would be, how have the contributions you have made in your role to date improved the business or the team, et cetera? Uh, for deliver, are there examples of tangible products, solutions, results that you have delivered in your role? And so on and so on. So this allows us to get a qualitative assessment of a candidate's capability as well as making sure that all the boxes are ticked with regards to requirements of a role and, and experience, et cetera, too. One final note. Uh, We're hunters and not farmers. Our talent acquisition team puts more effort into finding uh, and headhunting talent from the market than from just advertising and waiting for the right applicant to come to us. That's just not the way things are done if you want to get things done. Yeah, good point. So on the flip side, what are some tips you can offer to potential candidates looking to become part of the Cargomatic family? Absolutely. So at Cargomatic, we look for people who are smart, engaging, and driven. 
So the best advice I can give to those who are starting the interview process with us is, number one, be clear and concise with your communication. Actively listen to the questions you're being asked and not only relay, I suppose, an appropriate answer, but also an example or experience from your career that bolsters your, your response. Number two, be positive and personable. So people like to work with people that they like. Your personal traits and attributes will be just as important as your professional ones. Number three, every good interview is a good conversation. It shouldn't be one-sided. So prepare the questions that you would like to ask the interviewer. Do your research uh, into the company, its mission statement and goals. Think about what you could bring to the table that aligns with these or other aspects of this brand. Uh, number four, take a class on negotiation, perhaps, you know, and, and learn how to talk about money early. It's not the most important part of a conversation. Don't make it that, but it is an important part because there's no time to negotiate like there is at the very beginning. Uh, finally, and from a technology perspective, uh, I suffered from this <laughs> before this call today, but test your Zoom and internet if you haven't used it before. Make sure you are ready and prepared ahead of the start time of the interview. Preparation can go so far, especially with the technology aspect, considering you're already probably a little nervous going into something like this. So making sure that you are more at ease and prepared definitely can, uh, I think, bring a better outcome for everybody involved. So let me ask you this. What are some up and coming or high priority functions in the logistics industry and at Cargomatic? We're effectively aligned with the industry in terms of high priority. Uh, one major one, uh, of course, is DEI. Some points of note on Cargomatic's commitment to equity and inclusion. Number one, one third of our Cargomatic and Atlas Marine workforce is female, and approximately two thirds of our workforce identifies as bl- belonging to a minority group. We tirelessly champion that across the board and at every level of the organization. Two, uh, creating a culture of diversity is good business. Studies consistently show that diverse companies outperform their counterparts, and we are proof of that to some extent. Number three, there is no doubt that differences, uh, debate, and collaboration make us better. Diversity leads to innovative thinking, and innovation leads to progress. We are on this path. Another high priority for us is tech talent. So with technology innovation becoming a bigger focus for the future, Ability to attract and retain the best tech talent in the market is key. We are playing against some of the very big brands in in this industry, and we're winning in the hunt for best-in-class talent across the board. Getting people back in the office, how do we do that? Uh, Cargomatic supports a hybrid working environment, but understands collaboration takes place in the office, one-to-one or one-to-many. So this is also important for us, and we're making ways to make that attractive for our workforce as well. Number four, and this is an important one uh, for our company and our, our support for veteran heart in particular. So it is an honor to support those that have given so much and asked for so little in return. Um, Cargomatic makes it uh, a priority to, to uh, hire veterans, train them, and expedite their careers uh, with our business, with our brand also. We've covered a lot of territory here, Sam, but any final thoughts as we're wrapping up kind of that that last push to maybe potential employees who might be interested in coming to Cargomatic? Yes, absolutely. We were talking earlier about tech talent, how to attract that. So trying to think outside of the box, we've, um, in collaboration with our tech and product and marketing teams and leads, we're launching a codathon. Now, you may ask, what is that? Well, that is a, a you know a week long um, exercise that we're put, pushing out to the mar- uh, market, generally through all our social media platforms, starting on April twenty sixth. It will give any up and coming or established software engineer an opportunity to show us their problem solving skills with code. Uh, the code on, codeathon, as I said, will last for one week, and our hope is to hire at least ten new full stack engineers. Um, if you're listening to this and you're a full stack engineer, Please be sure to follow us on LinkedIn and other social media channels so that you don't miss this exciting opportunity to jump the line in our hiring process. Sounds great. And if they want more information or if they want to learn more about what we've talked about today, where can they go, Sam? Certainly LinkedIn is the best place. We will be on Facebook. 
uh, for sure on uh, Twitter also. Uh, I do need to check, but we may have something going out on YouTube also. But LinkedIn, I think most people are out there uh, in a professional capacity are looking online. We will be pushing that out to as many engineering focused individuals uh, in the US market uh, soon. Uh, in fact, today. Perfect. And of course, you can go to Cargomatic.com for more information about Cargomatic as a whole as well. Sam Ahmed, Principal Recruiter for the Talent Acquisition Team at Cargomatic. Sam, can't thank you enough for your time. A lot of really exciting things happening at Cargomatic and excited to see how many people you can bring on board with the Codathon and what the future holds for future employees. So thank you for being here today. Certainly. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Michelle. And I want to thank all of you for listening and tuning in to People on the Move. It is a podcast brought to you by Cargomatic. Once again, you can go to Cargomatic.com for more information and be sure to subscribe to the podcast to hear more great conversations like the one we had here today with Sam. Thanks for joining us again. I'm your host, Michelle Dawn Mooney, and we hope to see you soon. 